are you misaligned on your eBay K40? Well, I am too. What am I talking about? Well, I'm going to share it with you. Let's jump into this together. Okay, so here we are. We have the X gantry here move fairly close to the first order mirror here. And one of the things I want to do is test fire the laser. So I'm going to go ahead, hit the test fire button. I'm clear out of the way. I have my safety glasses on. And notice where that mark is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the laser to the halfway point, roughly. And then what I'm going to do is fire again. Now, one of the things that you notice, it did not line up. And if I do this again, if I pull this all the way to the end, and let's do it again, see how it created a diagonal line. What this tells me is that my bed, my gantry here, is sloping up. You know, so the beam is going down because this beam, even if the first order beam isn't fully aligned, what's going to happen is it's still going to be straight. And with that, what this tells me, since the further I move this gantry back, the further down this moves, that the gantry is, in essence, the front of the gantry is moving up. So when I push it back here, the gantry is actually lower. That's why it's striking higher. And when I pull it forward, the gantry actually tilts up in reference to the sheet metal of this in the laser tube and first order mirror in the back. So what I'm going to have to do is shim this out a little bit more to change that. The other pieces, notice how it walked over from there. So that also means that this isn't true. Now I talked about that in uh, last video and one of the things after creating that video, I wanted to take um, and do this video to really demonstrate it because I think, you know, I, I kind of didn't explain it completely on how to determine it because this is probably the most critical part. So we've trued up all the other pieces. Now we really have to get this trued up inside the sheet metal. And you can see this is probably at least five millimeters or more off. So my effectiveness of this laser over this range is going to be very limited. So this is what I have to get straight. And this is what you have to get straight too. So if you're interested in a set of these targets, I'll actually put uh, these out on the design store so you can download them. You basically, it goes just snaps over the mirror. There's also one that snaps over the laser head. So once you align this mirror, you know, with the first order mirror, then you align the second order mirror with the third order mirror inside the laser head. So anyways, hopefully this explains a little bit more from the last video about how critical it is to get this internal gantry square with inside this sheet metal. You know, preferably what I've seen some folks do is actually build out of maker rail a more robust internal uh, skeleton to hold all this stuff. And if you have the time, money, and, and all that, I really think that is the better way to go rather than trying to deal with the sheet metal. Because one of the things you will also experience with the sheet metal is in temperature changes, this will change a little bit. Now, if you get it really good here, it's probably only going to change a half to a millimeter, which is quite a bit actually in laser terms because you want this to be spot on, pardon the pun. But it's going to be a lot better than this kind of craziness here. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up, swag shop up there, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.